Hello there world, I am Ryan Bamey and it is time for another movie review today. I am so unbelievably excited for today's movie review because it is an incredible movie. I hope I can keep this under five minutes. I'm so excited to start. Here we go. And the movie is called Pride. As you can see, I came ready for my video today. I'm just going to summarize my reaction to this film in the theater once it was over. The movie was incredible, and my clapping reaction, that wasn't just a reaction in my head, the theater clapped. Me and my boyfriend were there, we clapped, the theater clapped, the movie was impeccable, amazing. Here we go! This movie is based on the incredible true story set in the UK about a small group of gay activists who help the mine workers during their very lengthy National Union of Mine Workers strike set in 1984. Yay for gays! Always helping people, just like Ellen! Um. Imelda Staunton and Bill Nye were some of the um, notable actors in this um, masterpiece of a film. But I'm gonna just go right in and say that um, this film is, it, it blew me away. Like, I saw a few previews for it. It didn't get a very large expansion, um, at least here in the U.S. It was a very um, limited, um, had a very limited venue of theaters. Um, but I saw a preview for it and I saw um, overall consensus reviews for it and it was all really positive. So I was very intrigued to see this and so my boyfriend and I went into the theater and what we got, you know, with my expectations being what they were, what I got was my mind blown. Also, if there's one thing I hate sometimes about, you know, true stories and uh, some of the other, whatever, gay LGBT movies that I've seen is um, how um, very depressing and sort of preachy and sort of in your face gritty dramatic this is sad and embrace this or 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 suck it or whatever and you know i get it you know films are trying you know to get their message across whatever i respect that but in pride's case it didn't need to shove drama or emotion in your face to get you to cry and feel something for these characters nor was any of the comedy hokey or or, or cheesy or like uh -huh -huh, oh that's a punny joke I love punny jokes no I don't what um really sent it over was how funny it was it was it was fucking hilarious I was busting up laughing in my seat literally <laughs> let's just say one particular hilarious scenario involved a dildo and an Elda Staunton what I mean is this film could have easily gone down either of those routes with being very forced dramatic. These were issues at the time that involved, you know, gays and whatnot, or or we are so funny, or we're so gay, or we laugh at our gay jokes because we're hilarious, you know? It, it could have gone either of those routes, but it didn't. And the thing is, with this movie, it didn't really send, it, the main focus didn't center around, you know, gay rights necessarily, or or for their, the gay cause or whatever at all, which, you know, is all great, but the movie really centered around how the, these, this tight-knit group of LGBT individuals really poured their heart and soul into helping these poor, um, near, you know, near starvation at times town of, of mine workers that really needed help and they weren't getting the support at all from the greater UK government. And so it's a great story about how this small group just banded together to help these people. And it really just struck at all of the heartstrings. The film flowed very effortlessly and it didn't go over the edge in any respect. It was all perfectly placed and perfectly set to where it tugged at your emotions, it got you connected, it got you energetic and passionate about the cause of what these characters were doing and their interactions with one another and everything they were working together on and growing as a family, growing as friends. I can't recommend this film enough. This film, without a doubt, is my favorite gay movie I have ever seen in my entire life. It, it left my heart soaring, if you will. If there was anything negative about it, it's that it wasn't marketed enough and it didn't expand as 
as wide as it could have been expanded so that others can go and see and partake in this cinematic masterpiece. But that's what fanatics like me are for, to spread the word of mouth about this masterpiece so that the masses can partake in its magic. Did you like how high and mighty I just got right now? Wrapping it up here, I will say Pride won, it really won a huge place in my heart and I consider it a true cinematic accomplishment and a film that is definitely deserving of a full five stars out of five. And it's been a while since I've given out that high of a number to a film, but it deserves it. So finally, do yourself a favor, look into this film, look up trailers, find a theater near you. If not, look for it on whatever, on demand, on Blu-ray, DVD when it comes out. This film needs to be seen. All right, there you have it. That is my first video review where I gave a film a full five stars out of five. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Support the cause, that's tangled. Support the cause. And as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, Bye for now, you guys.